Pause the video and read this. Let me blow this picture up so you can see who this is. That's right, this guy does not know what he's talking about. Let's take a look at the question again so you can see people like this are trying to keep you from the truth. These are purposely idiotic people who lie to you every day. Now, see the question? Pause it and read it. Now, let's see the proof. Okay, we're here to answer a question. One of the things that I want to state before we get into this, people often ask me questions that other people tell them they was impossible, like taking a motor and running another motor. And I tell them, yeah, it's possible to do that. And then people say crazy things, uh, how, which we're going to show some of the crazy things that people say to me. But to answer that, that question simply, if you have a motor and you want to run a motor, put it on a charge controller. Okay? But that's not the question here today. The question is, is about these things right here, these inverters. And a person asked me, can you run an inverter on the power from the inverter? And I'm going to show you the question so we don't get this wrong. And then I'm going to show you what this person said. Okay. And then when we're through with all that, we're going to take this inverter right here. And we're going to take this power supply right now that we're using to charge those batteries through this charge controller. So we want to make sure that we understand this is now plugged into this. You can see the wattage that it uses is plugged in. And we know that it goes up to this battery charger and it goes up that cord right here. And it's going into the solar part of the, ch the charge controller. And these right here, these two battery cords, if you follow it down, negative and positive, are going to this battery. Which these two are hooked together. Okay? Which, guess what else is on there from positive and negative goes to this charge controller, which is on. So... His question was, can I take this plug, plug it into here, and this still runs? And I told him yes. And then this guy basically told me that I was crazy and I needed psychological help, which you are going to see. Okay? We need to stop all that kind of rhetoric. So... I'm definitely blowing up his picture. I'm definitely putting him on blast. And then I'm going to take this plug and plug it in here. And then we're going to be able to monitor it up there what this is doing. Okay. I also want to show you the change that's going to happen. Because you see where this thing is saying it's putting out 20 amps. And another video that I did, I said, is this accurate? Or is this using phantom electricity and then telling you, oh, no, you're not using that electricity. We wanted those answers. How do we find out answer is by answering this question. Because this, by these numbers right here, 29 and 19 amps, where it says 18 amps, which is going to go up and down. If I unplug this and put it over here. I shouldn't get the same thing. This is how we learn. Okay? So first of all, we'll learn if this question that he, he poses is true. Second of all, we'll learn is this thing actually giving you power that is not being registered or are we doing a true step up? Those two things right there will tell you 
a lot of questions about other videos that I done. Okay, let's get with this. Okay, we just plugged it in. And we're waiting for it to come up all the way. Okay, so let's look over here and see with this because this is going to climb slowly. And look at this, 18 amps, 31. Okay, let's go back over here. And it's saying that it's drawing 300 and something amps. Well, let's see what this says over here. It's saying 360, 70 watts. You see the voltage? Let's go over here. Okay, so let's follow the chords because we get all this this thing. So let's follow this chord right here and see that we're going to the battery. We see the amps being drawn and we see the voltage being drawn. Let's go up here. Let's go up and see that that is going into the charge controller right there. Those two wires. And this right, these two wires going down and around are going to the battery here. And that these two wires, that one and this one, are going up and around into what? This inverter right there. This inverter. And this inverter is what? Running while charging itself. This is a very simple thing answered. Now, let's go answer the other thing. This is still putting out, look, it's putting out more than what we said in the beginning. Remember, it was down to 18 and one thing. So it's putting out more, 20 amps, and you see this, it went to 30. And it's staying up there. Okay? Now, I'm not trying to say that this is going to run forever. This is not a perpetual motion machine. Eventually, this system, the way it is, is going to drain these batteries, and then this inverter is going to turn off. Okay? The more power I put in it this way, though, through this charge controller, will stop it. So, you know, one of the little tricks that I do, I add solar right into here. Extra solar. And this, that's where I get my boost. And then this will start actually charging the batteries, especially over 20 amps, okay? So if you do the measurements, those wattage right there, okay? And look, we'll, we'll, we'll go over here so we can explain this because this has to be the, see that four amps? So you times that, which we did over here for the other video. Let's look at this. The other video right there, we times that already. We already did this. So the power supply is, no, it was, this is the grid. But even though we're using the power supply, this is the grid. It was taking 121.5 uh, volts times the four, four amps. And it equaled 583 plus some change. Okay? That has not changed from those batteries. Okay? So, see the four? And we go back to the wattage. But that's not what we're going to times again. We see the wattage. But what we want is that right there. That plug is saying that it's using that number which we use because that's the volts. And then we want it the amps times the amps. Okay? So you take that and even though the wattage coming from that says this, this is what you get when you add those two numbers that we just said to get that wattage right there. That it would be the watts. Okay? 
This is the reason why I had to pose the question in the last video that says, hey, what's going on here? Because this thing says it's putting out more, which we look at the numbers there, okay, 29, and there go to 20 right there, saying it's putting out more than we're taking from the grid. So, if you do this, even with the losses and everything, people think, oh, then this right here should run forever. Okay, but it doesn't. That's the whole point. But can you do that? Because that was what the question was. So let's not avert this to something else. Okay, because those questions come later. We just wanted to answer the question. Can you turn this into yourself, the itself, take the power, plug it into this, and run the inverter off its own power. Yes, you can. You can yet take this, run it around, and run it at the battery. From the batteries to the inverter, yes, you can run it into itself. Let's also talk about this. Can I charge these batteries using the battery from itself? I've done this before. If you went back through my videos, I've taken this battery power right here, took extra two extra wires, positive and negative, put these two together and looped them over here and put this battery back into the solar and then start charging the battery because somehow this was giving more amps. And I was like, it was charging. I was like, oh, wow. I also put solar when I put the uh, loop over here to give it that little extra boost to see if that would damage this box. It didn't. It ran. It worked. So, yes, these things right here that people call you crazy for, this right here is this acting as solar, and you see where the energy is coming from. Look. There it is, plugged in this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna stop this for one minute and take the meter off so we can see this clearly. Okay, that meter is out of the way and this is starting to come up. You see the wattage there because we can see the wattage moving up. Okay, so this is gonna slowly charge because remember, we got what? Battery power. Where is the battery going? Up to the charge controller. Okay. And where is this power coming in from the charge the charge controller? Follow it down. And we'll see these cords right here. Coming from this right here. This is a power supply. And where is this cord from the power supply going? Right back here, that is a loop. And we talked about looping energy. We even talked about hyperlooping. This is not hyperlooping. This is just looping energy. And Tesla talked about this. So when you learn this stuff, because somebody did ask me, where do you learn this stuff? Okay, this is how we learn. Read the meters. Stop listening to guys that don't know what they're talking about. Those are the idiots. You read your meters and you get your answers from facts. This is telling you the facts. Okay? So, this, is, this video has nothing else to say because you can see all the numbers. Please write down these numbers. Please keep record on what we're talking about. See that we are plugging into ourselves. Okay. This will work with one battery. But I'm not taking all this apart to the thing. And it, we got, it works on two batteries. Again. As you see this thing works. And it works better. So if I unplug this. Let's do this. Unplug this. Can I do this with one hand? Because this is a new unit. And I'm going to plug it back into the grid. 
okay now that's plugged into the grid and we're gonna watch that slowly climb okay and as we watch that climb we're gonna go back up here to see the evidence okay so sooner or later that's going to hit it should hit around 18 19 or 20 And you had to remember the numbers that we had last time. And look at that. From the grid, it's not even pulling as much. Okay? So once you got that, once you understand that, it's like, look, why is it pulling less energy from the grid than it is when you run it on self because remember it has to run itself it has to draw the energy into this and it's losses in here so it's going to draw a little bit more power but guess what these right here boost up because remember you see where it says 10 we wasn't getting 10 before this would drop down to 9 like it is or 8 and this right here would go up to 20 so you just got to go back to the video, look at the numbers, write them down, see for yourself, and then you see me do it with very expensive uh, products. So therefore, what you do is now you can copy that, maybe get a smaller inverter, but don't try to uh, run the same power, get a smaller battery, smaller everything, and keep it within perspective of what you're running. And then when you plug it into yourself, you're going to get the same results as we have here. Thank you.